I want to just quickly go through the, the, the weekly launch updates. I know um, everyone's updated their delivery dates. So that's great. Thank you. Um, and then after we go through this, uh, I want to um, talk about March 2022 team deliverables. Um, everyone's gone through and added their top three deliverables. And we'll go through those. And we're going to be actually assigning a progress uh, percentage. So you can see here for my three deliverables, I've got 50%. 20%, 40%. Um, so we'll want to keep that up to date. Lee, 0, 10, 10. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so, so we'll go through that. We'll go, we're not going to have time to go through everyone's, but we'll probably, everyone on this call, I guess, we can, um, we can, we can do. We can each, each uh, person talk about one thing of the three and then just, just name your percentages as an estimation. So, yeah. Uh, Lee, do you want to do the updates? Do you want to type in the, um, the actual percentages? Yeah, yeah. As, uh, just, call, just call them out per person, and okay. then we'll write them on, on the call. Sounds good. Yeah. OK. Uh, so let, let's quickly get through the launch dates. Um, any, any updates? I know um, uh, Ganesha is, is running late, but he told me that the dates are up to date here. Uh, with the trustless Ethereum bridge. Um, any, anyone else have anything they want to discuss here? Um, Z, I'll get back to you on one wallet. We'll probably do do that after the, uh, the deliverables. Any noteworthy updates? Great. We can move on to the March deliverables. So, so all the dates are up to date here uh, for the folks listening. Um, you can you can go in and take a closer look at the uh, the different milestones. Okay, let's talk about March deliverables. Uh, I'm just going to work down my list here in in Zoom. Yeah. Uh, so Z, you're first. Where is Z? uh fellows here there we go there we go um give do you mind just click into it the one wall update so people can get some visual guide in terms of what i'm talking about for the launch yeah, yeah just click into it uh so just okay so just click on weekly metrics uh weekly update because this is my first time kind of the first one right right there click on the toggle all right so it's kind of a quickly rundown in terms of i'll be very brief uh in terms of the the way i think about activation and growth it's really these three kind of a funnel metrics. Number one is obviously the app install. Uh, right now we're oversaturated because we only have a hundred internal seats. But the good news is Apple just approved uh, as of this morning, the 10,000 uh, internal test flight. So we should have the ability to start onboarding more users. So that's good news. In terms of the, the right below that funnel, which is the number of people on the wait list, these are people who actively provide their Apple ID. So we're growing you know, at a relatively healthy clip uh, around 27 point. Um, percentage week over week from 733 to 936. Then another one kind of at the top of the funnel in terms of how I really think about community buildup and community engagement is really the number of members on the one wallet discord, uh, 20, 225 to 324, um, pretty healthy, 44% growth. So we, mm -hmm. the goal is basically 50,000, you know, uh, one wallet users, but roughly around half a million discord in the coming, not obviously this week or next month, but that's kind of the, the larger ambition for 2022. Uh, and then the second thing that's really in, in, uh, important for us uh, from last week is basically the creative brief. Uh, I'll be working with Adrian and the rest of the creative team to really start creating uh, the launch campaigns, the digital assets, all the campaign media. Uh, so I already dropped a creative brief, which on this Wednesday, I'll be in the Palo Alto office to walk people through. And we'll share that uh, externally with all the Harmony community members. So they can actively participate. So that's the second bullet. The third bullet is uh, Ethan Austin. Uh, ESSA is the DRI for this. Uh, so we'll be kind of like, we're getting closer and closer. The date is March 17th to the 19th. Uh, I think altogether, there are probably about 10 of us from the, you know, the team and it was in the Harmony community be participating. So click on it. You know, you can take a look at the details. If you're around the area, you know, drop by uh, or support us directly, you know, via the very different uh, Harmony communities. 88 Rising, uh, many of you guys know, this is kind of our crescendo moment 
um, mid-April. Uh, and then this is kind of where we're going to be doing um, major consumer-facing activation. This will be the kickoff of the One Wallet campaign officially. So you can see the very different presentation, the you know plan of records, and also the kind of the execution strategy behind the ADA Rising Coachella activation. Um, and then fifth, obviously, you know, uh, one of the most important things, not just about the marketing and obviously all the very different uh, community growth, is really more about what are some of the practical real use cases that we can have in one wallet. So I've been start drafting up, you know, the very different use cases and even partnership. Um, for example, how do we work with the various different TGI local communities and also restaurants? Uh, I know um, to be very exact, for example, Lee's been hosting the TGI Thursday in San Francisco, Atlas Cafe. So it would be amazing to partner with that coffee shop, say, hey, take one wallet, um, take one tokens using one wallet, and you get a discount, and, a, a, and we should enhance the user experience there. Um, the TGI you know, meetup every Wednesday in Palo Alto, let's use that, right? The Saturday morning, um, you know, afternoon events that we've been, Steve and I, we've been hosting in Palo Alto, same thing. Let's use that as a as a way to demonstrate the use cases of one wallet in real life. Uh, last but not least, uh, Maddie, thanks for uh, you know babysitting the, the timesheet. Um, as many of you know, we're onboarding a lot of contributors to one wallet activation campaign. Uh, and then I'm actually changing the timesheet format. I know many of you guys are approving timesheets. Not a big fan of just you know brainstorming for two hours on XYZ. Uh, that to me is useless. And I've been pretty clear with my team. And I think Maddie on board. I want every single time um, she element to be linked. So I can actually look at the inputs and outputs. And also there should be, uh, if you're working with some external DAOs or various different partners, I want them to be linked directly from to their public profile. So that's kind of a quick update in terms like the, I guess last week. And then this is gonna be the format you guys can check in on a weekly basis and all the various different data sources also there. So, all right. Uh, Thanks, Z. No yep. You, you went a little off script there, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, special. Fine. It's, um, it's the first time, so I just want to give everyone some context. But going forward, yeah, we'll be, be following the script. Okay, no, no, all, all good. So, give us your three percentages for the three items. Um, well, the percentages, I think you know, right now everything's now trending yellow. So it's, it's not been pretentious. Uh, we're starting. We're just starting off, right? So there's not a baseline. Um, but next week we'll have better um, percentage tracking. Oh, I'm I'm gonna grade I'm gonna grade you. I'm a hard grader, <laughs> so. Right. Oh, trying to yellow. I mean, so to put a C minus if you want to put a grade on it. Yeah. C minus is uh, is sixty percent. You can put uh, whatever. Oh, no, I, I think that's actually like fifty percent. That's not even a pat plus. Well, yeah, I guess yeah, sixty. You can put sixty. Yeah. It's a it's a pretty hard grading curve. We haven't activated anybody at Coachella yet, and we haven't launched the DAO yet. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Z. Uh, we got to get through. Um, Matt, I see you've already updated. Do you want to pick one of your three deliverables? Sure. Um, tell so us more about it. I will pick, uh, given that I've made the most progress on it, um, owning the E3O operations. We depart for E3O on Wednesday, and we're taking a we're taking 40 scholars, uh, 10 from Blue Dow and 30 from the Latham areas. And um, a team of 13 Harmony um, core and contributors and uh, four ecosystem partners as well. Um, we're going to be hosting our very first um, Harmony One TGI soccer tournament um, out or football tournament out in Rio. So we're very excited to kickstart that and really just get the community involved, um, really support the local scholars, build out our Latin presence there and um, have a great time playing some soccer together as well. So we're we're uh, diamond tier sponsors for the main event. We're also uh, sponsoring the launch pad and staying behind for the hackathon. We are also launching Project Y in Rio, um, which will be giving spot grants to various Web3 projects through the hackathon and through the builders that we meet there. So um, find our uh, internal planning page at uh, harmony.one slash Rio, and you can see all of our progress as we go. Awesome. <clears throat> Thank you, Maddie. Uh, next up. Uh, Lee, you're up next. Okay, cool. So um, I promised Z that I would onboard a thousand people to Timeless. So far, I've onboarded no one to Timeless. Um, but uh, also want to share that 
we we talked about the BTC DAO actually on the shuttle trip with uh, Leo and Steven and Z on the way home. And I think it's been uh, part of the discussion. So the idea is that we could uh, independently uh, create, make the BTC bridge into a DAO as, as there are a lot of other uh, independent bridge projects already that we, uh, th this would be a really good test for us to think about um, like externalizing. We, we already have Explore, RPC DAO. I think this is just the next step then. Um, really, I want to also get Ganesh's feedback and consult with him, but uh, just started because that was our conversation and I felt uh, I felt excited to take that on that we could we could demonstrate that we could really externalize one of our key products uh, as a DAO. So nice. that's part of my plan. Yep. Great. Um, I, I'll, I'll go next. Um, so, uh, you know, kind of continuing on what, what Lee said, I'm really starting to think more and more about how to decentralize as quickly as possible. And it, it really does feel like that we can package our features, specific features, um, DAOify it and, and kind of like let, let that community run with it. So I'm really thinking through um, the Explorer um, at the moment and how we can turn that into a DAO. Um, <clears throat> so uh, among other, other projects, uh, that's the one I'm, I'm focused on right now, I guess about 20% done. I've kind of specced out the mandates, the, the, the you know, deliverables, all the elements we need to form a DAO. Um, and I will be sharing that shortly. I've got a handful of potential candidates in mind who I think would do really well. Um, but this would be another step towards uh, full decentralization once we can um, DAOify all of our products. Okay, uh, Leo, you are up next. Yeah, um, I already updated. So um, the Rosetta integration, uh, I think 80% down. So we already um, hand over uh, our partner with all the latest fix. I know Dockerfile um, partner doing the testing right now for the Rosetta um, integration validation process. So RPC implementation and the new architecture, um, we started some initial investigation a while ago that's been posed uh, due to the Rosetta work. So uh, we'll resume the work doing more investigation and, and the POC. Uh, for the blockchain, um, checkpoint and the level db app optimization uh, the code has been um, merged and uh, still um, doing internal testing on that all right thank you leo uh rj sure so for quashar smart contract design uh it's mostly there is about 90 percent done uh, for the efficient signature collection, uh, the code is already ready. So the plan this month is get it launched uh, on testnet and also be ready for mainnet launch. Um, that will really prepare uh, to make it possible for the one second finality on the mainnet. Um, so that will, I will say 50% done for the efficient signature collection on the consensus. So for research style and planning uh, already started, I mean, the uh, research style already published the analysis on our security model, the consensus sharding and uh, incentive design. Uh, and we already started on some of the edge uh, task kind of uh, specification. Um, I still need to work um, more on detailing kind of more tasks that's kind of coming out of the research uh, report. So I'll say uh, for this part is like 40% done. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, RJ. Uh, Devin, I've got you next. Hey, yeah. Um, so on the DAO side of things uh, with Rachel and Sam, onboarding five DAO tools, uh, <clears throat> whether they be on-chain or just assisting uh, the DAOs that are currently on Harmony. Um, Good progress there. Uh, I've got two of the five scheduled for today. Uh, one that we think we can get 
on today. Uh, and then revamping the DAO workflow, the DAO tooling workflow specifically with Sam and Rachel as well. Uh, and, and I think we've got a pretty good handle on that. So I'm gonna say 20% for that category. Uh, coordinating NFTLA, about 80% done, should be really good. Um, we'll be highlighting women in NFTs and metaverse, and we're gonna do a lot of cool things there. And then um, at Z's behest, Timeless Wallet contributor, which I'm very excited for. And then I've also uh, discussed with Claire, who's on the One Wallet team, uh, helping out with App Store optimization, facilitating that, um, have a lot of connections in that space um, to essentially make sure that it's more visible and has uh, higher app conversion rates. Great. Thank you, Devin. Uh, Constantine, I'll go to you next. Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, Beacon Epoch uh, block synchronization is ready, I guess, near 90%. Uh, it's working, I tested it, and uh, it has some problems uh, in uh, uh, GitHub testing, but I know how to solve them, and I guess tomorrow I'll fix it. Uh, and other tasks, tasks are not started yet. Okay. So 90, zero, zero sounds good? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, next up, Adrian. Okay, so uh, I'm working with Z on the Timeless Wallet video strategy. Uh, I, I would also just call it like a marketing strategy as well, because we have some boots on the ground things that we're doing as well for it. Um, some guerrilla stuff. Um, so we're about 20% on that. Uh, onboarding two new video editors, I'm about 50%. I have uh, so many submissions that I have to go through. Um, it's really hard to find someone that we want because it's a very particular set of skills um, that I'm looking for. And most people don't have all, all, the, all the skills needed. Um, and then E3O, NFTLA video campaigns, we're about 30% on that. Um, partially because we have to go there and film it, but um, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Adrian. Um, Daniel, you're up next. All right. Uh, two things I'll highlight. The first is um, the 10 meetups via Ambassador DAO. Um, so I'm working very closely with a couple of the governors who are spearheading our meetups. 10 might not seem like a very high number, but we're, we're scaling that pretty aggressively over the next few months. And we're using this as an opportunity to uh, learn our you know, lessons with uh, a smaller number rather than a larger number. So I'm actually meeting with two of them in person today um, to iron out a bunch of uh, uh, process related um, documentation and uh, et cetera. Um, but tied to that, and this is, uh, goes to Timeless Wallet, and I cannot take credit for this suggestion, but one of the DAO governors actually suggested that we begin onboarding people to Timeless during our meetups. Um, so as we continue to scale up, and of course I will I'll, I'll continue working with SD and uh, Z on this, but as we hold these in-person meetups around the world, if we can onboard people to Timeless every single meetup, um, it, it, it certainly would make a, a it, it should make an impact. Um, and there's also a social media campaign that we're looking to create. Um, social media campaign, like uh, as, as in um, like community level social media campaigns on Reddit, uh, Discord and Telegram and trying to uh, strategically get people to onboard onto Timeless, get them to know about it and so on. So um, those are two uh, pretty exciting things that I'm working on at the moment. All right, thank you, Daniel. Uh, Yuri. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, first it is Bitcoin Bridge features. It uh, contain uh, our pay feature, uh, also better wallet monitoring. Uh, so it's done about uh, 40%. Uh, next, it is Horizon Bridge UX. Uh, we have started working on this together with Sergey. So it's done already on 20%. Uh, need to think uh, finally UI uh, UI version with uh, 
you with GIF and with uh, Ganesha and with Valeria also. After this, we will continue work. Mm, and uh, I have started integrate uh, crazy subdomain to one wallet. It's on 10% uh, maybe, yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Yuri. Uh, Peter, I've got you next. Um, okay, so the first one there is project plan for 88 Rising. We have our kickoff meeting this Wednesday. And out of that, the, the, the work output should be a project plan that um, we're going to break down by, um, uh, by task and by owner and then also by time. And um, really excited to get that going. Um, next piece there is uh, Africa Initiatives. I'm going to work with Sam to figure out exactly my, my role there. Um, my, my interest there is really in developer education and, and also um, working with Daniel on the ambassador piece there. Um, next piece is a game developer conference. Um, and I am, I'm speaking and so I'm preparing a deck for that. And also uh, uh, kind of targeting uh, small to mid-sized publishers that, we could, that I could have meetings with while I'm there. Um, hopefully get them on, um, have them build on Harmony. Great. Thank you, Peter. Uh, next up, we have Essa. Okay. Um, so for standardized event planning, um, Matt and I have been working on restructuring um, just to And so we've we actually just had a meeting this morning to outline specific or specific duties and roles that everybody on the events team will be playing to um, to kind of better feed into the events. Um, we don't want one person just running everything, and, and there's too many things that are going missing, um, and there's a lot of stress going into that. So we have a little bit more organization now with that. Um, I'd say that's probably 50% done. There's still a lot that we need to optimize on that, um, and a lot of things that we need to play out to be able to understand what's best fitting and and what's what's not working as well. Um, 10 grantees at ETH Austin. Right now we have um, everything in Austin working. I'm gonna say probably 5% of that is done. Um, I think that we need to restructure our strategy for Austin to be able to optimize um, when we get done there. And then Coachella activation, we've started meetings with that as well, um, but that's still very much in the works and we have meetings moving forward with that as well. So maybe like 2% for Coachella. There's a lot to be done there. Um, or five is good too. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Essa. Uh, Sam, you're up next. Where are you, Sam? I'm there taking a nap. I there figured I'd just take a nap during the during the all hands. Um, all right. So uh, first off, I have to, as I have the floor for just a second, I want to thank the entire events team around East Denver again. I think we're finally all crawling out of our sick holes, which I really appreciate. Um, and the one thing I want to flag is that we do have a post postmortem retrospective. Um, the link is in the Avengers event telegram group. So let's see if we can fill that out and post that and publish it by Friday. So regarding the stuff that Give actually cares about, um, <laughs> launching five DAOs, deploying a DAO dashboard and publishing the Q1 DAO report. We're actually doing fair. Go ahead, give. Uh, no, so someone's got their microphone on. Uh, there's a lot of background noise. Could you all please mute? Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, Sam. Go on. Um, so the uh, so the five DAOs were actually in a pretty good shape because we have, um, you know, DAO House. We're almost ready to launch. Give. You've been working really well with um, the. Uh, uh, let's see what's it called snapshot instance so we're going to have that going live coordinate is in good shape um so there's a, there's a bunch that are that are fairly close we just have to push them over the edge um and so we also have uh we've created a dow pipeline dow tooling pipeline that kind of tracks where everything is and there's a bunch of stuff there on notion for you guys to take a look uh the dashboard the dow dashboard this is a landing page slash operations um that people will be able to see which is great and the Dow report, we're coming to the tail end of Q1. And so um, as I've tried to encourage everybody in all of our DAOs all the time to be very, very radical in your transparency, 
about reporting the work that you've done and accounting for the assets that you've used. Um, we are also going to do the same for the DAO Ops. So at the end of March, we will publish the Q1 uh, DAO Operations Report that'll have funding, that'll have tooling, that'll have all the stuff that we've done so far in Harmony DAOs. So watch for that. 30.25.5. All right. <clears throat> Thank you, Sam. Uh, Ganesha. Yeah, uh, on the Bitcoin bridge, uh, we haven't upgraded uh, the contracts. So there are some features like uh, relay. Uh, currently, it's permission. We want to open it up for a public. So uh, that one, and there is some uh, liquidation related features we need to add. Uh, these are all smart contracts, and the UI and the other components, Yuri and other guys are handling. And this is around 30%. And then Vault incentives, we are revising the incentives and also plan to make it very profitable, uh, give out the internal vault uh, fee earnings also to the externals. So that is uh, more encouraging for walls to participate. Um, these are uh, also be baked into the smart contracts. So that's uh, around 10% uh, done. And finally, the big item, Restless Citrium Bridge. Uh, <clears throat> there are several uh, tasks on the contracts, uh, clients development, and also front end, etc. Uh, on the smart contract, I'm working with the other person. Uh, <clears throat> we are on track uh, for the next month uh, release, uh, and it's about, I would say, thirty percent of the remaining tasks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Great. Thank you, Ganesha. All right. Next up, Max. Hey guys, uh, so you can see the percentage written there in terms of delegation data pruning, the pull request is ready, just waiting for RJ to green light it and then can merge and schedule a hard fork. The, the second step, which is the validator uh, wrapper archival state cleanup, I, I'm still looking into it. It's it's slightly tough to, <coughs> sorry, it's, it's a slightly tough one to solve. So that's at 10%. And then in terms of the SDKs, uh, again, we're at 30%. Uh, this is, this is not too complicated, but there is uh, some nitty gritties attached with the Go SDK that I need to resolve. Great. Thank you, Max. Uh, next up, Jack. Hey guys. So I put the percentage there. Um, first off, we're kicking off the Harmony Venture Network. Um, the easy part is done where we're introducing a program Excuse me. Um, where Harmony ecosystem builders uh, that were part of the Harmony hackathon winners or um, part of the Harmony ecosystem fund grad recipients now have the opportunity to grow to the next level by presenting the narrative, their roadmap, the development. So it's, think of it as a, um, a VC sort of an arm, but not necessarily holding any funds. So we're trying to bridge the developers and builders that have completed. Because we launched, just to back up a little bit, so we launched the Harmony Ecosystem Fund back in September. It took a little while for grantees, uh, for people to find out about the grant, to apply for it, then to build on it. And there are some teams that are finally ready for the next level of funding, for example, or for growth growth then they'll need funding so we built, built this family venture program to help um, these teams um, bridge between this gap and we're also looking at of course um, partners where they can and they are interested in investing in ecosystems such as harmonies and onboarding them as well as investors so we're sort of um, trying to bridge between the teams that are ready to be invested with the venture capitalists or angel funds that are ready to invest. So the program has been launched. The link is over there. It's called Harmony Venture. Check it out um, if you get a chance. Um, the reason is 40% is because there are still a lot of onboarding necessary for the investors coming in that are interested. And also, um, 
talk more about it and um, start marketing the Harmony Venture um, program to all of the ecosystem uh, participants. So there's a little bit more work to do there. And second, there's um, onboarding of Gala. Gala is going to be helping out with our ecosystem grant. So I'm a quarter uh, part there. And next up is on the engineering side, where we have Chain Stack, uh, which is going to be providing an RPC um, endpoint for Harmony. Uh, they are ready. They're just going through their testing right now. So uh, it should be ready in about two weeks. And, um, and we're really close to another RPC network partner. As for Cloudflare, we're still a little bit um, um, behind on that. So Cloudflare rollout is all about being able to uh, parse out the differences between certain RPC calls, where um, a busier RPC call called get logs will go into a different route, whereas all the other call calls will go through the um, regular RPC nodes that we have. So we're about 30% there. I really want to complete more and more work um, towards the beginning of the month because at the last week of the month will be GDC, where uh, the Game Developer Conference, they are also be participating. So you'll be super busy towards the end of the month. I have to get things done as soon as possible. That's it for me. All right, thank you, Jack. Uh, okay, we have three, three more uh, to go. Uh, Victor, you're up next. Hey, hi guys. Um, yeah, just a quick update from my side. Uh, I'm, in terms of percentages, I think the SIP chain one is about 50%. Um, Explorer DAO is 20 um, and the DAO house piece is 20% as well. Um, just a quick one about SIP chain. Uh, we've talked to the SIP chain guys. Uh, Max uh, from SIP chain is, is work, I'm working closely with him um, and Abi. Uh, we're just doing a uh, marketing piece now. So we've done the technical analysis. Uh, Sip chain looks like a good fit for, for Harmony. Um, and now we're just looking at the, the marketing piece. Um, so there's, a, there's about seven activities that we're going to do uh, related to marketing. Um, in terms of the DAO house integration, uh, we're kickstarting that again. Um, so I've, uh, I've taken the code and I'm just refreshing it, uh, just merging the, um, the necessary changes into our PR and pushing it back into the, um, the DAO house repository. And just um, reconnecting with those um, the guys in the house, that house as well. Yep. Awesome, thank you, Victor. Okay, uh, Danny, you're up next. So as far as the videos, we're probably like uh, thirty percent done with the, that. I mean, E three still has to come up, so we're we're waiting on that. Timeless wallet campaigns. We're jumping on a few meetings this week, so around 30 40 percent. I want to say. And for the creative grantees, I mean, that still has to come NFT LA in Miami. So I'm already reaching out to some people. I want to say uh, 15, 20% around there. But that's towards the end of the month. Great. Thank you, Danny. Yes, uh, and last but not least, Boris. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Well, um, the 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 fixing with the one wallet, you know, this this week didn't move much. The, the, the other developers have been out one week, but I started the, to go through the GitHub for the integration directly with one wallet. So it's it moved, not not as much as I wanted this week, but it's keep moving. The um, uh, two hundred students for LATAM is something I committed to to Stephen and Denver. So I, we had a very good meetings last week and we are trying to get a partnership with a group of the online web three platform in Mexico. And they're bringing a lot of students from the biggest public university in Mexico, probably biggest public university in Latin America is called the UNAM in Mexico. So it looks promising. And yeah, they're, they, one of them is taking the, the March cohort of the of the course, and they will start working with us and keep an update version in Spanish of the CK group. I'm working with this with Hakwan directly. And the 50 grantees from Rio, well, uh, the scholars are there, people people are there. The the NFT 
uh, workshop is there. All, all seems to be in, in, in place to get those uh, 50 grantees. So I'm, I'm, I, I'm sure we, 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 are, we, we will be able to achieve the, the goal of 50 grantees. So we just need to be in Rio and make it happen. So that's it. Uh, thank you, Boris. I think that's everyone, uh, full t all the full-time folks on this call. Uh, I'm just seeing if I missed anyone. I don't think so. Um, for others who haven't had a chance to update, please go through and, and add your uh, percentages. We'll do this at the beginning of every month. I think this is probably um, more useful um, than going through the launch uh, um, Dates, th those are useful as well, uh, but I think you can get a lot more granular this way to see what each individual is going to be working on and committing to deliver uh, by the end of the month. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, Sam, did you, I know you touched on the Dow operations uh, report. Did you want to add anything more to that? Um, let's see. So Dow operations, I just want to flag this set for everyone so you're aware of what's happening over here. Um, so Dow Ops is, is headed up by myself, um, but I have several people who are big, big helpers in this. Number one, all of you guys are <laughs> because of all the various different projects that you're all doing to, to bring in Dow's across the board. It gives us an opportunity to learn. It gives us an opportunity to figure out what's working, what's not. Um, Dow operations in general is broken up into two different departments. We have Dow funding and Dow tooling. Um, Dow funding, uh, the person who usually leads that up a lot is Mikey, who's not on the call right now. He is recovering from Dowist uh, Mexico City. I'm making sure all the, that work that he's done there um, has been productive. Um, and so we had a call on Friday where we went through it really quickly. Um, this was a, a Twitter spaces called the Harmony Download. Get it? Um, and we did um, $4.2 million in funding, approved funding so far. And so that's just continuing to go, which is really exciting. So we're definitely keeping that flywheel moving. Obviously, there's still a lot of work to do because there's still a lot of stuff going on. Um, in addition to that, we have the Dow tooling. Now, I touched on that just briefly in my update, we're going to have five tools that are going to be online and usable for DAO tooling. But buried within those five tools, there are there's two things that we're also doing that I'm doing that are really, really vital for, for DAOs in general in Harmony. Number one is a landing page. And this landing page is being able to say, hey, I want to participate in a DAO, what DAOs exist. I need to do something with a DAO, what tools exist. Hey, I've heard about these mandates, but I feel like I don't know which ones exist and which ones don't. And so we're going to pull all of this stuff together and put it in one spot for everybody to be able to see very easily and very quickly. That's our DAO landing page. The second thing that I wanted to talk a little bit about is our DAO reputation identity management project. Um, I've, been, have, had, I've had this conversation multiple times with multiple people. When I was talking with Chaotic Beauty, aka Dylan at East Denver, he got really excited about this. And so I think we are going to do a bounty for the Bridge Builders DAO to build us an integration between what we do in Coordinate and a non-transferable token so that as you work in DAOs, you will earn reputation points into your Web3 wallet which will then be able to go anywhere you want and other DAOs can use that as ways to weight your vote. So if I'm an expert in developing and I go into a developer DAO, my 5,000 reputation points as a developer will be weighted more than you know, Leo's three points as a developer because Leo doesn't know how to develop. Um, <laughs> that's a joke, Leo, you're amazing. Um, but the point is, is that that is the way that we are actually, I think will differentiate Harmony DAOs in general is having this tool where we have this identity that's not based on something you know, it's not based on something you have or something you are, it's based on something you've done. 
And that right there, I think will be a huge differentiator. And so I'm kicking off that work with, with probably the Bridge Builders DAO um, here this week as well. So that gives you a quick update. And also just let's welcome Rachel onto the call. Let's see, Devin is on the call. Devin's Hi, also part of our DAO doing. Um, and Mikey is some, oh, he's not on this call because he's dealing with DAOs. So that's the DAO, kind of the, the, the DAO operations team. Thank you, Sam. Uh, anything else anyone wants to talk about before we go to the breakout rooms? I actually, um, I wanted to remind everybody that we have an event signup sheet online that I posted and I can, I can repost it again. Um, if anybody wants to go to an event, please put your name on that list. It's not, um, it's not for sure just whether or not you're willing to go so that we can know who to coordinate, um, and who to work with to getting everybody where they need to be and where they want to go. Awesome. Thank you, Essa. I do want to flag. I do want to flag something on that really quickly, Lee. Don't we? We have a little bit of a restriction with with going to events, correct? Like I can't go to every single event, even if I want to. Yeah. So, so the guideline is um, for the core team. Think about one event, one major event a quarter that you that you really want to be at. Um, of course, there there's going to be local events like in San Francisco and LA, where wherever we live, and that's uh, not counted towards your quota. But, but really think about focusing on uh, events. And we'll do this uh, both on an individual level, but also on the team level. Like it makes, if, we, if we're gonna do one, we should really uh, dedicate time uh, for, the, for the major ones where we get the most value. And then for the others, like there, there's gonna be so many more crypto events throughout the year that we, we should uh, pick and choose. And then, uh, and for the people that are going, we're continuing project Y for the rest of the year, at least. So, um, you'll be actively giving out grants to folks. Every event will probably have slightly uh, different parameters just based on the local context. Like for Rio, I think Boris already mentioned, we're going to try to give out at least 60 grants because there's there'll be six teams, six small teams. Um, so yeah, so that's the guideline. So think about that. One thing I wanted to suggest real, real quick, um, Essa was maybe adding a list of uh, roles per um per event that you're looking to fill so if, you know like for one event maybe like e3o or whatever you know you mentioned something like um role number one would be like DAO specialist another one would be like brands another one would be like manning the booth and just so um might make it easier so it's not so much of a free-for-all but you know we just make sure that we're like targeting very specific tasks that need to be um uh that that need attention during the event just an idea that's perfect. Thank you. Okay. I think Maddie should chime in because he's writing a whole notion doc. <laughs> um, actually, this. I do. I do want to um, uh, ask Maddie to talk about something unrelated, uh, or or Jack uh, about the upcoming performance reviews. Um, if you could just tell everyone about the dates and um, uh, what to expect. Um, sure. So uh, just a reminder again, we spoke about this uh, last week on March 14, which is next Monday, is when uh, we hope that um, everybody on the core team will be able, be able to provide feedback to those that you have worked with, um, especially the, the ones that you work with closely, so that um, uh, your feedback has, has more, a lot more context, a lot more um, relevance to um, your peers uh, uh, performance. So um, yeah, be ready for that uh, coming up next week. I'll continue to send the, uh, uh, send the template uh, of where that's gonna go to before March 14. It's actually ready to go, um, sitting in a, in a document. Uh, so that's when it's gonna start. And following two weeks is when the review happens and the um, crew coordinate and followed by the adjustments um, at the end of the month. Um, Maddie, anything else to add there? Uh, no, that actually was a, a great synopsis. Yeah, that's great. Thanks. OK, <clears throat> thank you, guys. Anything else before we wrap up? OK. All right, everyone. I'm going to send you to your breakout rooms. Have a great week.
speak to you all soon. Really like. Hmm.